Merry Christmas, everyone! With tomorrow being Christmas, I don't know if I'll be making a video, which means I knew I had to make this one extra special. And though it looks like I'm just in a void world with this grass block underneath me, this is actually my normal test world. And I am in a custom dimension, and it's actually super simple to set up, and I'll show you how to do it right now. So getting started, we need to make a data pack. By now, hopefully you know how to do this. If not, just go check out one of my other tutorials that came out before this, and you can learn how to do it there. So going in here, we just need our namespace folder here. And inside here, we just need to create two folders called dimension and dimension underscore type. Just like that. In both dimension and dimension type, you need to put a .json file. And I'm just going to call mine test. This name will affect your dimension, so make sure this is what you want it to be. But the other one can be called, like, whatever. We'll be referencing it in here, so just make sure you change it. Like usual, I'm going to be using Mesode, and we're going to be using two generators, the Dimension Generator and the Dimension Type Generator. Let's start with Dimension Type. So, we have a few settings. We have Ultra Warm, which, like the Nether, water will evaporate and sponges will dry. We have Natural, which, if you tick this off, your compasses will spin. Piglin Safe. If this is set to false, piglins will turn into zombified piglins. Respawn anchor works, bed works, has raids, has skylight, ceiling, coordinate scale. This is like in the nether, one block to eight blocks in the overworld. We have ambient light, fixed time if it needs to stay at one time. Logical height is the height that portals can spawn and you can chorus fruit to. This cannot go over your max build height, and this build height has to be a multiple of 16. We have the effects, so I'm just using overworld. You can see here these are the sky effects, how your sky will look. And then infiniburn which blocks will keep burning. I'm just using the InfiniBurn overworld tag. Our minimum Y, I have it zero. Our max is 1600. And I'm leaving the monster spawn lights as zero. So like always, just copy this entire thing, go into your dimension type, into test, and just paste it all here, control S to save, and close. Now, remember what you've named this, because we'll need it for the next part. Also, of course, remember your namespace name. So, for dimension, we'll use the dimension generator. We need our namespace, colon, and then the name we used for our type. So, that's pretty important, otherwise this will not work. So, I'm going to set this to default. So, I'll put that in, tutorial, test, and then our type, I'm just using flat, reload the settings, biome, I'm going to make a void world, and just add a layer, height zero, block, air. Just copy this, paste it in here, control S to save, and now... If we go into our world, it'll ask you if you know what you're doing. Just click, I know what I'm doing. And then you should be able to do slash execute in, and you should see your dimension. So just run tp at s20100 or something like that. And you should be in a void dimension. So I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. If it was, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. I'm pretty new to the YouTube scene, and it would help me out a ton. Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye!